Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy, it's Mega, back with an Undisputed tutorial video. So as you guys know, the WBC edition of Undisputed is now officially out. And basically the gameplay you guys are seeing right now is three days early access because of buying that WBC edition. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to throw certain combinations that will be really effective in your matches during Undisputed. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick introduction to some of the basic buttons in this game just before we get into the actual combinations. So square is the jab, triangle is the straight right, circle is the right hook and X is the left hook. Now when I throw uppercuts I usually use the right analog stick and I just flick it downwards depending on what side so if you want to throw a right uppercut you throw it downwards and a little bit towards the right you guys can see on the bottom right the controller showed you guys right there and then with the left uppercut you want to throw it the opposite side a little bit so just a bit on the left side down the middle with the right analog stick and it throws a left uppercut you can press X and square as well for the left uppercut and triangle and circle for the right uppercut all right, so I'm gonna start with a quick few basic combinations. So the first one goes like this. So I'm standing in front of my opponent with the one, two, standard one, two, so square, triangle. There we go again, square, triangle. So basically with this combination, right, it's quite effective. I feel like, especially with this uh, console version, it looks like it works really well. You guys can see there, it's just a nice one, two. If you guys move towards your opponent on the other hand, moving the left stick towards him, and then you throw the one, two, it's kind of a step in one, two. You guys can see that again. But if you're just standing still and you're throwing, it's a standard one, two. All right, so this is one of my favorite combinations to use in the game. This is the second combination of this video and it goes something like this. So you use the one, two again, but this time you just add in the left hook. So one, two, left hook, square, triangle, and then X. And if you want to kind of move back after the one, two, you can pull back like this by using L2. So square, triangle, pull back, and then X. Basically, so you throw the one, two, your opponent might throw a counter shot, you back up and then you throw a left hook. Another thing I kind of forgot to mention, which I will mention now is that with combinations, you need to make sure you make them flow. So like you mix it up. So you throw shots to the head, then mix it up with shots to the body. So you guys can see I'm mixing up a lot of shots. My stamina is drained. It's back again. Start mixing up combinations again. So with this right, basically it just kind of confuses your opponent. Obviously hitting the body drains their stamina and hitting their head will just stun them eventually. I'll show you guys again. There you go, he's in a stun state. Now if I just keep punching him, eventually he'll get knocked down as well. All right, so onto the third combination of this video. And this is one of my personal favorite combinations and it looks something like this. You throw the jab to the head, then you throw a power straight to the body and then you throw a left hook. So in like fast motion, it looks something like this. That's a really effective combination, guys, because you shoot the jab to the head, then the opponent gets confused. You throw the right hand, power straight right hand to the body, and then obviously it does like a little animation, and then you throw a left hook straight to the chin. That's a really effective combination. I feel like it's definitely one of the best ones to use in this game. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys the fourth combination of this video, and it looks something like this. So it's just the one, two again, square, triangle then a left hook with X and then if you hold L1 and you press circle it does a body hook a right body hook so if that goes into a combination it looks something like this I'm gonna show you guys that again I feel like that's a really effective combination because you're mixing up shots quickly on the head and then you go straight to the body and land that body hook you can even mix it up and add another body hook in, and it looks something like this so the one two left hook to the head right hook to the body and a left hook to the body so square triangle X, L1 circle and L1 X. So it looks something like this. That's a pretty effective combination. It's not really landing right now because the AI is blocking by the looks of it. It does land sometimes though. Look, there we go. One more time. You guys might be wondering why I use the jab always before the combination. It's because the jab is kind of the key punch into setting up that combination. So if I want to throw any of those combinations, I want to set it up with the jab. So the one, two is with the jab, the one, two left hooks with the jab, the one, two left hook, and then the right body shot is with the jab as well. It starts off all with the jab, most of my combinations. All right, so the final combination of this video looks something like this. It's a standard jab to the head, a body uppercut, and then a left hook. Once again, it looks something like this. Jab, body uppercut, left hook. So in a fight, it would go like this. throw it with the other hand as well so jab with the left body uppercut with the right and then the left hook with the left hand 
all right so i hope you guys did enjoy this video do make sure to hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already and do make sure to comment down below and let me know any other undisputed videos you guys want to see in the future i will be bringing more tutorial videos to my channel as well a bit more in depth than this one to be honest like basically how to use the sweet science of boxing in undisputed i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next one